Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm making a video review of the Anchor Flip Tail Mouse. Um, so I received this to review uh, from Anchor themselves, uh, and I'm a, as, as you can see, I'm already a big fan of Anchor with the Anchor uh, 8000 DPI mouse in the background. Um, when I saw this on um, on Anchor's uh, website, I was very curious as to see how it works uh, because it is completely different from uh, most mices that I've seen um, simply because of its flip tail um, design. So as you can see, it's a flip tail design. So the tail flips out and gives you a mouse. Now, I really like uh, the mouse. Uh, I really find it really useful um, for uh, portable applications. As you can see, it's very small, uh, very easy to uh, handle um, and to put in even a pocket. So I can put this in my suit pocket um, or jacket or whatnot uh, very easily and get it out and use it. Now you might think, oh, well, how am I going to use it? Well, it's quite simple. There's a USB a device, which is currently in my PC, which I'm going to just unplug. As you can see, it is extremely small, which is very useful because um, this means that it's very much portable, and it's um, and it's USB. Um, should I say the USB dongle goes in over here with little, little bit of a, a magnetic um, push. So it just it holds it together via a magnet. Well, as it seems to be magnets inside there. Um, and that means that it can be taken around very easily and plugged into a PC. In terms of installing drivers and whatnot, it is really a plug and play device. I just plugged it into my PC, as I'm doing right now, and um, I'm able to use it pretty much um, instantly. Um, now the mouse can be bought for £8, which is very cheap um, on Amazon.co.uk. Uh, it can be bought um, on other places as well. Um, however, um, as I'm in the UK, uh, Amazon UK is my reference um, and is the thing that I'm going to be um, referencing. Uh, in terms of its functionalities, it's quite easy. It's got a DPI uh, switch over here. It goes up to 2000 DPI. Uh, let me just check its, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there we go. It goes 1000, 1500 and 2000 DPI. Personally, I was accustomed to using the 1000 or 1500 DPI um, simply because of um, what I'm used to, but uh, it's quite useful to have that uh, three um, uh, switch DPI. Um, it goes up and down in terms of scrolling wise it doesn 't do um, it doesn 't go sideward scrolling and there 's no other buttons out there but however one one thing I should mention about this mouse, unlike other mice that i 've owned um, this is also a left hander mouse now i 'm not a left hander i 'm actually right handed however, as you can see, the ergonomics are the same both on the left side and the right side, meaning a left handed person can use this, which means it 's really useful in terms of using this um, on the go and for different types of people. Um, it's quite nice um, that Anchor haven't designed it um, so it's a only one-handed um, device. In terms of its um, portability functions and its actual functions as a mouse, it's very useful uh, and it's got great range. Um, I've realized that I've gone at the back of my room which is about, I'd say about um, at least three, four well, say four four meters um, in length, and I've used it without uh, any problems. I should mention, however, even this mouse looks like one of those uh, air mices, you know, that you can use on the air. You need to have a surface, uh, so you need to use have a surface and use it on a surface in order for it to work. When I'm using it as well, every now and then you might realize there's a little red. Um, light which comes on and that's uh, normal that's just uh, it saying I am working um, make sure that I am uh, that you're here <laughs> um, and um, also I should mention the fact of when you flip this up it doesn't work anymore now it might look like it might work because the sensor is there but it basically must have an on and off switch which goes over here meaning it turns it on and off if you leave the ma uh, mouse uh, idle for a little while, it will switch off. Um, it's like a power saving mode. And to re-enable it, you just literally click and you use it again. So I've seen some Amazon reviews uh, out there which are kind of false and saying, if I put this in my bag, how am I going to know it's not going to switch off and whatnot? Well, it's simple. With this mouse, you just do that and it's um, it's off straight away and nothing works. So it means it's really good. It has like an off mode. Um, it's on and off mode is literally by flipping its tail. Um, on a more negative side, I did see that the, the build quality on over here isn't exactly that great. Um, that means where the, the contacts are um, on with your mouse mat and whatnot. So, I don't know if you can... 
sometimes it feels like it's scratching on my mouse mat but that just could be just my my unit so it doesn't really matter and nothing that I'm gonna really complain about uh, end of the day I'm pretty sure um, the quality the build quality of all the mices are um, are quite good I should mention this uh, also has a double A uh, battery uh, batteries that it's using. Um, I haven't been able to test out how long the battery is going to last um, just because I've had it for a short amount of time and also because Anchor States can last up to 18 months. I, I don't doubt that it will last that long um, as in I, I believe it could last that long but um, to be quite honest it's double uh, A batteries and it all depends on the amount of use you're going to have. If you can use it every day then maybe it's going to last much um, shorter and even if you use it very very little then it might, might long might last much longer but regardless it's two dub, uh, triple A batteries that go over here and they are not provided with the back uh, with the the mouse but that said the mouse is only as I said um, eight pounds so it's not exactly expensive um, if anything the batteries are almost as as expensive as the mouse itself um, so there you go guys, um, I hope you've enjoyed this review, uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of how it looks like and what it is, but it's a very useful mouse for people which want to be um, uh, port, uh, which want to be portable, in other words people which want to put this in their bag um, or shall I even say in their pockets because it's a mouse that is really small and is very convenient uh, to put in a pocket and just carry around without any problems. I can see this being very useful for say lecturers for example, teachers and whatnot, people which make presentations a lot and whatnot. It's not personal, it's not a mouse that I would personally use simply because I've, I really like um, full mice, uh, full uh, mice's which have uh, all functionalities and whatnot, uh, but this mouse uh, I can see can be very appealing for certain people. Anyway guys, I hope you, this video has been helpful, uh, please do let me know your comments below and what you could see this, uh, the application of this mouse uh, being, and um, let me know if you've actually got one, and, and if you do, and where you use it for. Alright guys, take care guys, totally dubbed out, bye bye.